So question 38 says, um, Mark bought a piece of land for 1.5 million shillings. After some years, he divided the land into eight equal plots. He sold each plot at um, 350,000 shillings. What was his? What was the total percentage profit made from the sales of all the plots? Now, the first thing you need to do here is um, he sold the eight at um, 350,000 each. So this will give you a total of, um, when you multiply this, you're going to get 2.8 million shillings. Now, what is its profit? Profit is equal to um, selling price minus cost price, which would be 2800000 minus um, its cost price, it's 150 and that's 000. So that will give us... Um, when you do the subtraction of this, you're going to get the uh, 130000, and that's 0, okay? So now, for the percentage profit, it's going to be um, profit over cost price times 100 over 1. So this is going to give us 130. 1.3 million all divided by 1.5 million times 100 over 1. So that's will cancel that. So from here, you're going to have um, 5 here, it's going to be um, that's 3, 5 here, it's going to be um, 20. So you're going to have um, 260 divided by 3. Now, um, when you do um, 3 into 26, you're going to get 8 whole number, that's uh, remainder 2, 3 into 20, you're going to get 6, remainder 2, so that will be 862 over 3 percent, final answer, so the correct answer here is going to be D. So my next question says, um, the table below shows bus fare for adult passengers in shillings between different towns. If Aminan and her two children traveled by bus from town K to P via N. The bus fare for children was half that of adults. How much money did Aminan and her children spend as fare for the whole journey altogether? Now the first thing I wanted to establish here is um, they moved from K to P via N. So that means from K they got to N, then from N they now went to P. So for their journey from uh, K to N, the mom, uh, Amina, spent, uh, okay, that's, uh, Amina spent, um, that's um, 600. So this bus fare is for adults, so this is 600. Then for her children, for her children, it's going to be like for every child. Now it says the bus fare for children is half that of adults, which will be 600 over 2, which will give us 300. Now for her two children, it's going to be 2 times 300, which is what? 600. So from K to N, they spent 600 plus 600, and that will give us what? one two okay so from from n to p um amina spent uh, that um, 200 then her children since they are two remember it's going to be two times the half of 200 over um that's 200 over two so two is going to cancel out two which will be what 200 so from n to p N to P, they spent that 200 plus 200, which is what 400. So, if you want to get the total journey, for you to get the total journey, it's going to be what that um, K to N to P. So, that's um, 1, 2 plus 400. And that's going to give us a total of. Um, um, one six hundred shillings. So the correct answer here is going to be what B. 
So the next question says Nicholas paid 4,000 shillings for a carpet after getting a discount of 20%. What would have been the percentage discount had he bought the carpet for 3,800 shillings? So the first thing you need to know here is uh, the cost of the product. Cost of product is supposed to be, he's supposed to pay 100% of the product. But now, uh, they gave him a discount of 20%, meaning he paid what? 80%. So, uh, if he paid 80%, 80% will now be, this implies 80 over 100 of the price of the product, uh, gave him, uh, made him pay 4,000 shillings. So, uh, we want to find the cost of the product. So, here 0 is going to cancel 0. And um, X is going to be 40,000 divided by 8. Now, this is going to give us uh, 5,000 shillings. Okay, so now to find uh, the percentage, uh, like at which the question says, what would have been the percentage discount had he bought the carpet for? 3800. So let's get the discount at which he bought it at 3800. So let's call the discount y. So this will be y over 100 multiplied by um, that's 5000 is going to give us what 3800. So double zero is going to cancel double zero. So you have um, 50y is equal to 3800. So divide both sides by 50. You are going to get uh, y into 0 cancel 0, 5 into 38, you're going to get 7, um, bring 3 here, you're going to get 6%. So he got the discount, um, he paid 76%. So discount, it's not going to be what, 100 minus 76, and that will give us what, 24% discount. So because he paid 3,800, he actually got um, a discount of um, 24%. So my correct answer here, it's going to be B. So the next question says, uh, the max price of a radio was 3,200 shillings. The higher purchase price was 115% of the max price. Mutai bought the radio on the higher purchase terms. He paid a deposit of 1,680 shillings and four equal monthly installments. How much monthly was, how much money was each month installment? 